All right, guys, you see this amazing spread of food here. So yeah, in this video, we got another banging episode for you guys. We're back with Desiree and Lynn, but this time we're going around the Long Beach, uh, Orange County, Southern LA area for some Thai Lao food. Yes. Yep. And on our first stop, we're at Owl and Owl right now. Are you guys ready? Oh yeah, we're so excited. I can't wait to showcase Laos and Thai food uh, in this video. Cool. So they got some uh, drinks for us too before the Lao cuisine. Let's try it out. How is it? Strong, <laughs> sweet, a little bit of cream. It's good. Love it. Is it like Vietnamese coffee or different? Uh, it tastes a little bit different. It's a little bit bold. Bold. Bold, yeah. How's your Thai tea? You gotta get Thai tea at a Thai spot, right? Oh yeah, of course. Very sweet and creamy. Perfect. Ooh, I knew I tasted a lemony flavor to this. So this is a butterfly tea. Lemonade, the deeper I got down to the bottom, it was more condensed and uh, nice and sweet, refreshing. Butterfly tea lemonade. Mm -hmm. So let's just go through all these dishes right here. A lot of delicious, exotic looking dishes if you guys haven't had Lao food. So yeah, we got the basics right here. We got the Pad Thai with chicken, Pad Si Yu with pork. And what else do we got here, Desiree and Lin? This is boat noodle. All right. And this is larb. Larb. And this is um, Laos and Thai barbecue right here. Uh huh. And then this is a really interesting dish. What do we got here, Desiree? We got the Vietnamese nam. Um, it's cured pork as well as crispy rice. Oof. And that the Jap deep fries. I'm gonna have a crunch. I'm expecting a crunch with this dish. And we got peanut butter. Uh, just peanut, crunchy peanut. Oh, I, I want it to be peanut butter though. It'll be peanut butter by the time we're done with it. <laughs> and here we also have the crying tiger. All right. Dan, do you know why they call it a crying tiger? Cause it's so good that the tiger cries or what? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, but maybe, I've had crying tiger many times. I was thinking maybe because his wife is a cheetah, so he cried. Oh, a cheetah. Okay, I get it. <laughs> All right, and then what is this one? Uh, this one, I was told this is a Lao stable. It's a noodle curry. So noodle curry. All so right. Excited to try this one. Haven't had that one, and of course the mango sticky rice. I love that. I'm gonna eat that at the end. So much delicious looking food. Let's just go beast mode and go in. Oh man, I don't know where to start. Should we just grab a chicken wing right here? Uh, oh yeah. Barbecue. Let's, let's start with this barbecue platter right here. Yeah. All right, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's really crispy. Mm. Crunchy. So much flavor on the wing. It's a dry rub. Mm. Oh, that's good. Tastes so a little moist too. Mm -hmm. Super crispy and very succulent on the inside. Yeah, it tastes a little garlic on there. You gotta clean your bones though. <laughs> Eat all the cartilage, make sure nothing's left. Mm -hmm. All right, what should we do next? Let's do the crying tigers because we just easily pick at it. All right, so. There's already some dry rub sauce in there for us. Let's try it out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Soft, tender, but a hint of herb. Oh yeah. Spices. They mix it with um, the rice 
a roasted rice powder. Wow, mm -hmm. that's what it is. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of flavor to that dry rub. So roasted rice powder. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it just hits you in the face. This one uh, has a lot of flavor on it. You can cool down with a cucumber. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one is spicy. There's some heat to it. Mm. Wow, okay. Really Great contrast. This is really good though. Really juicy. Mm. 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 Alright, so we can't leave this sitting for too long. Let's try the Thai boat noodle soup. So mm -hmm. there's Vietnamese noodle soup. I'm we're Vietnamese, so it's a little bit different. There's a contrast. So we all got some beef noodle soup. Let's try it out. Cheers. So the noodles are the same as pho noodles, mm. and then the, the meatballs and the cut the sliced beef, but the big difference is the broth. Um, it's made um, with, of course, pork blood. See? Yeah, so right away, the difference between this from pho soup that I would say is that the, the broth is just deep, darker, meatier, and then, ooh, and there's meatballs in here. What do you think, Desiree? So soft, so tender. I love the smell, I love the flavor. Mm -hmm. um, it's just half a flavor. Yeah. You must get this dish. And yeah. they're known for the, their boat noodle as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really meaty. Mm. I mean, it's served to us in a big bowl here, but traditionally, it's got boat noodles because um, it's served in like little bowls and they only like fill it halfway up. And then you eat like maybe five small bowls and you stack them up. Oh. Because you'll be eating in a boat, so you can't be holding a big bowl because yeah. it might spill. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so that's why it's called boat noodles. History lesson there from Lynn. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go on to this cured Vietnamese pork and crispy rice salad right here. A lot of herbs and spices. We served it up in this lettuce, so let's take a bite. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. I taste angry. the pork skin. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It comes with the sauce. Very spicy. Tastes like ginger. Mm. So good. So much flavors in this. So vibrant and crunchy. There's a the crispy rice. Mm -hmm. There's a little spritz of sweetness, sourness, and it's just contrast with the soft pork. And then you get the crispy rice and the salad to wash it down. <laughs> mm. All right, let's just grab a piece of sausage right here. Oh. This part part of the platter right here. Oh, mm. got Lao sausage. Lao sausage, okay. I'm gonna give it to All right, salud. Mm. Mm. To me, the difference between like regular sausage and Lao sausage mm. is all the herbs in there. It's really mm. herby. You don't just get the meat, you get all the herbs and spices. I taste lemongrass, absolutely. Lemongrass. Lemongrass. <laughs> That's what it is. It's so spicy. A lot spicy. of lemongrass in there. Beef skewer right here. It's oh, beef okay. or pork? Mm -hmm. It's beef. Um, the reason why it's kind of green is because of cilantro. Oh my god. Mm. 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 Tender, sweet. <laughs> so sweet and tender. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's amazing. So I watched them make it in the back. They brush on their house special sauce. Mm -hmm. That sauce is just like Desiree and Lynn said, nice and sweet. Some cilantro in there. Mm -hmm. It's a great flavor to go with this beef skewer. Mm. So we're gonna move on to the last meat item on this special barbecue platter, the pork belly right here. I love pork belly, looks nice and crispy. And what do we have to pair it with, Lynn? Uh, um, <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> all right, Desiree just stole a piece from my plate, but it's all good, we got two more. You eat it with these noodles. Vermicelli? Yeah the, yeah, the rice noodles, and notice that they cook in a way that's like, they're like stuck together. Yeah. Kind of like a cake. Yeah. Try with papaya salad. Uh -huh. Yeah, like so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the thing about Lao barbecue, guys. They don't just give you all the meat because you can get that umami flavor after eating so much meat. They give you, you know, a papaya salad for that pop of sweetness and some vermicelli to kind of soak in all the flavors, veggies and meat. Let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do the first one with some papaya salad. Cheers, guys. Cheers. This is a good papaya salad to pair with the pork. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't have too much of like that fermented fish taste. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's very mild. Not too spicy, not too sweet. It's a great side. Well, I'm gonna try this piece right here with the vermicelli. 
Mmm. Mm -hmm. Those vermicellis are in like clumps. Mm -hmm. So they're very spongy, chewy, mm -hmm. they're cold. Mm -hmm. Really big contrast to the pork. Ooh, that's good. And um, there's also these pork grinds right here, fried pork skins. They're fresh, right? Freshly made by Freshly chef. made. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice crunch. Mm -hmm. Those chicharrones, that's addicting. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, guys. Off camera, I was dying. That papaya salad is spicy. <laughs> but that's the key to Lao and Thai food. Lao, real Lao food is really spicy, so you gotta expect it. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. you washed out with your yum, creamy your drinks. <laughs> All right, guys, let's try the pad thai right here. Chicken pad thai. Cheers. Mm. That chicken is nice and tender. It has a really nice, sweet flavor. Noodles are nice and slippery, chewy. Has peanuts in it, so beware if you guys are allergic. All right, whenever you're getting Thai food, it's very common to get either Pat Si or Pat Thai, but in this case, we got both. So let's try the Pat Si Yu. All right. Oh, it's so good. Chinese broccoli is very crunchy, mm -hmm. and the, the pork is so soft, and so the noodles are soft and chewy. Mm -hmm. What she said. Yeah, you get that smoky wok flavor. Mm -hmm. So the difference for me is that the pad thai are thinner noodles, but these are thick, wide, flat rice noodles. And this one has like a deeper soy taste, so it's a little bit more salty. This one is like sweet, but yeah, noodles very slippery. There's some eggs in there. That's very speechless. <laughs> She's really enjoying it. Gonna move on to our finishing dishes. This is like the chicken Lao curry dish with vermicelli noodles. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mm. Some coconut milk taste in there, of course. Mmm. It's really good comfort food. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, the chicken is a uh, mix of dark and light meat. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the soup. I love the broth. It tastes, uh, I love the coconut milk. Yeah. I give it a, a, a mommy coconut kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, creamy. It's yeah. Creamy. creamy. Yep. Tastes like Cre coconut, salty. Oh yeah, it's a lighter soup. It's an interesting um, noodle curry. It's a Lao dish though, right? It's a Lao curry. Lao? Oh, my first time trying Lao yeah. curry noodles. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. All right guys, last but not least, we got the chicken larb dish right here. Okay. Oh yeah. We got toasted rice. Purple onion, all kind of mint and herbs in here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there's a lot of herbs in there. And like Desiree said, the minced chicken is not dry. It's really soft, chewy, and spongy, and also juicy. And you know, with all that toasted rice powder on there, it's really herby. There's a lot of flavors. It's pretty fire. Yeah, a lot of places will use ground meat, but since he minced the meat, it's a lot juicier. Mm. It's not dry. Salud. All right, guys, whenever I'm eating Lao or Thai food, I always want to finish strong with mango sticky rice. It's one of my favorite desserts ever. And they placed it in a heart for us. Look at this. Yeah, it's so mm, cute. So cute. It's perfect crazy. for Valentine's Day. Mm. Or every day. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. First bite. Mm. 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 Oh, I love mm. mango sticky rice. It's so good. That coconut milk but that sweet mango. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get the mangoes in season though. Mm -hmm. Then they're nice and sweet. Mm -hmm. They have the crunchy roasted mung bean on top. Oh, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. This one has a little twist. Not all of them have the roasted mung bean on top, but oh, and nice touch. It's the sticky rice. It's perfectly cooked in the shell. Mm -hmm. You cook it every day. So it's not something that you reheat or cook the day before. Yeah. You make it fresh every day. It's yeah. oh, so good. There's so much good food we had today, guys. Mm -hmm. What's your top three dishes? I love the boat noodle. Mm -hmm. I love the tender meat. I love the amount of um, how they cook the um, rice noodle. It's uh -huh. perfectly cooked. The broth is amazing. And I love the Lao papaya salad. Mm -hmm. I love the, the dressing. I love the fermented fish salad. It okay. was amazing. How about you? Oh, everything is really good. It's like above average. Everything is so good. Like above the standard. 
but the standout for me today, um, because I never had it before, so it's a little bit different. The nim salad mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is like sour and crispy, crunchy, so good. I also really like the Lao sausage and <laughs> the beef skewers. Mm. That is really good. All right. And then, of course, I also like big standout for me also is the fermented shrimp paste um, dressing on the papaya salad. Mm. So good. So that's like a top four then. Top four. <laughs> another one. <laughs> no, no, we ended that top four. Let's see. For me, it's uh, the pork. The crispy pork is really good with the papaya salad. Mm -hmm. The first papaya salad, not the second one. The Thai uh, salad. The Thai salad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the crispy rice dish with the Vietnamese cured pork. Oh, mm -hmm. that's great. And then, oh, this is a tough one. They're all so good. We know you love them all. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like them all. But yeah, guys, on to our next spot on this Thai Lao food tour. Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right, what's up, DVW fam? So we're on our second spot on this Southeast Asian food tour at Thai Licious in Artesia for some authentic Thai food. Alright guys, so we got some Thai beef jerky to start off with the papaya salad, right? And yeah. some sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. Let's do it. Ladies first, go ahead. Ooh, really excited. Alright, cheers. I'm gonna dip it in some of the sauce. Alright, cheers guys. Mmm. Sauce nice and thick, sweet. Dehydrated me, so it's a little bit chewy, but but it is beef jerky. Mm -hmm. You gotta work for um, the jerky. I love beef jerky. Extra protein. I love the flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's try some of this papaya salad. <laughs> mm. It complements really well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice, sweet, a little bit sour. Mm -hmm. It goes well with the soy base of this uh, beef jerky. Yeah. So much saturation, man! Doesn't it look good, guys? It looks amazing. Yeah. What do you guys want to start off with? It smells delicious, guys. Maybe salad. Salad? Okay, that's a good start. Yes, yeah, salad. Papaya salad. Let's do that. Yeah, it's crispy, crispy Ooh, pork. Crispy yeah, pork belly. Like different. All right, let's try the papaya salad. Ooh, look at this. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So mm. crisp, crunchy, so crunchy. Mmm. -hmm. I know you guys heard that crunch, so just so much crunch throughout with the, the shred of papaya and then the crispy pork. It's just crispy throughout. Ooh. Cheers. And a nice sour spritz. It's delicious. Mm. All right, second dish, the pad wun sen, which is glass noodles with chicken, eggs, and veggies. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mm. Nice and sweet. Mm. Slippery glass noodles. Mm -hmm. Nice and thin with some chicken and eggs. Mm -hmm. Got the mm. crunch from the wood ear mushroom, mm -hmm. cabbage, and um, uh, carrots. Yeah, so ahead. healthy. Yeah, <laughs> there, there's a lot of veggies in here. All right, so much food. Let's uh, wash it down with our Thai drinks. I got the classic Thai tea. What do you guys have? I have half Thai tea, half Thai coffee. 
I just got the Thai coffee. Dang, you mixed yours. It's gonna be a caffeine on caffeine. <laughs> Mm. Get the best of both worlds with this. And Ooh. mine's refreshing. <laughs> yeah, it's refreshing. Mine's not too sweet, a little bit milky. Mm. It's good. Oh, they got my favorite dish right outside advertised. Would you look at that? Yeah, one of their best sellers for sure. This spot was fire. It was definitely Thai-licious. DVW score 10 out of 10 because their dishes are pretty affordable too, guys. So yeah, this spot is dope. Thai-licious was very delicious. So yeah, on to our next spot. Alright guys, so we're at our third and final place on this tour. We're at Tableau at South Coast Plaza for some Asian fusion dessert. This is actually a restaurant, but we came here for drinks and dessert. But yeah guys, look at the spread. Can you please let us know what we got here? This is avocado mousse. Awesome, and then this is a strawberry cheesecake with passion fruit puree and graham cracker ice cream. So a little southeast. Asian influence to all these desserts. What is that one, Desiree? I got the beautiful herb gray panna cotta. Ooh, all right. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. That's goat cheese for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Has a strong, robust taste. So the goat creamy. cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The right amount of sweetness, got a crunch from the graham ham cracker, mm -hmm. and I think a strawberry and the passion fruit, sort of uh, lemony, mm. sour. It's mm -hmm. bringing out the sweetness, the balance of the sweetness and the salt of this dish. It's perfect. What do you think, Glenn? Oh, it's so good. so soft, so creamy. This is the creamiest cheesecake I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... Like Desiree said, you get the sweetness from the passion fruit like glaze on there because the goat cheese is not super sweet. It's just really thick. Mm. Oh, but there's some graham cracker ice cream right here. Mm. Let's try this out. Oh. Creamy, sweet, sour. Mm. Really a balanced dessert. <laughs> graham cracker ice cream, it's great flavor. There's some crisp at the bottom for us. Coat the ice cream. This is a really fancy dessert. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh wow. Oh uh, yeah, we destroyed this. We destroyed <laughs> it. Oh. Mm. Very tarty, sour. Mm. Some graham cracker crisp. Mm -hmm. mm. You got the crunch. You got the heart from the berries. You got several kind of berries. Look like black and red berries. And then you got the ice cream, and then you got the kind of cold cold that is so creamy and a hint of Earl Grey. It's still like an Earl Grey milk tea mm. with berry, but in a dessert form. Oh, <laughs> if you love Earl Grey, this is it, guys. This is the dessert. The Earl Grey dessert. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one. So this is an avocado mousse with a lychee granita and raspberries and sorrel. Oh, let's go in. All these desserts are very nicely presented. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Edible art. Oh. I'm gonna make it ugly. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. This is the most interesting one by mm -hmm. far. It's like an avocado mousse. I mean, that's what it is. And then the... Lychee is like lychee shaved ice. It's really good. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Oh, this is delicious. It is so good. It like... reminds me of avocado boba mm, mm, yeah. in a fancy form. Yeah. yeah. With berry, with mint, with lychee shaved ice mm. on yeah. top. And just, what do you think with this creamy avocado, Lynn? It's kind of like an elevated avocado smoothie. Mm -hmm. And that blackberries in, in the middle too. You guys see it? Salud. It's good. Mm. All right, guys. So they actually have Asian fusion cocktails here. This is the Jia Chu Hai, which is like a Vietnamese pandan ice drink. And the pandan flavor comes from the ice cubes. And you're going to see later as Desiree and Lin takes their drinks, they have different flavors of ice cubes. So it melts into the drinks. 
and gives it a different flavor. But it's actually a funny play on words because Jaya is the word of the Vietnamese dessert, and Chu Hai is like a it's like a typical uncle name. So it's kind of like an inside joke to the Vietnamese folks out there. Funny play on words. Let's try it out. Ooh, it's strong. <laughs> so the alcohol in this cocktail is rum. So it's like a tropical Vietnamese Jaya drink. Mm. Salud. So this one is called two curries in one cup. <laughs> I got gin. I got kaffir leaves. Kind of Thai. It's Thai le uh, lemon leaves, lemongrass, and uh, fever tree tonic. So I'm gonna give it a try. Wow, very strong. It's sort of like your curry, your Thai curry. In, uh, in, in in a cocktail, <laughs> if you love curry and you love gin, you may want to give this a try. Hey, this is their white sangria. It has passion fruit, guava, and orange. This is so good. Very light. Um, it's not strong, so you're not a big fan of strong alcohol. You should definitely get this. The ice cube is guava. And the more it melts, the more flavor you're gonna get. All right, DVW fam, so we had a great time on this Southeast Asian food tour, Thai food, Lao food, Asian fusion dessert. It was great, I'm stuffed. Ended off with a bang. All right guys, so that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, please like it. Make sure you guys check out Desiree and Lin too. They make a lot of great content on social media. I'll put the links down below. So yeah, like this video and subscribe for more. DVW food content. Deuces. Deuces. We'll see you on our pages. Deuces.